Hello, this is me, Judgy Jane Sad, and I just thought I'd do a very quick video about a project I'm working on, which is basically this old Dell machine has a dual core processor in it. And i am just found out that the RM machine, which is a single core machine I've got, has this, the same socket. So I'm thinking I might be able to swap the dual core. It might not work. I'm testing it in this really uh, an equivalent RM machine, research machines, laptop, and I'm seeing if it's going to work. So I'm going to take it out of here, put it into there, and if it comes up good, I'll take my main machine to pieces and put the dual core from this old Dell and see if it'll, it should work. If it works in there, it'll work in the other one because it's an identical machine. So I'm going to do that. And it posted the BIOS so it works. So I'm going to see, it might not like it. If it doesn't work, I'm going to replace the Wi-Fi wires because I've got Linux and it doesn't like the Wi-Fi. keeps dropping it every 10 minutes. So, And I splice the um, wires, the Wi-Fi wires, because they got cut in half. So I splice them with another set and it doesn't like it. I think that's the problem with it. So this one has an identical, oh, it's got a thermal paste on it. Right, let's take this one out. Okay, so that's the old one. I don't even know what the hell it is. It's a single core Yona, that is. So I'm going to swap it over. Now, which way round did that go? Corner with the thing missing, it's there, isn't it? Yeah, there's that little arrow in the corner. It's the same socket, and this machine dates from late 06 or early 07. The Dell dates from 05, and it's got a dual core in it. So I'm wondering if they are compatible, but I don't know about the steppings. It might not like it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I don't want to take my other one to pieces. And oh, these bloody screws! And then it doesn't work. I'm gonna. So that's why I'm doing a test bed on this. Um, wrong screwdriver. Does that go that way? It should do. These don't have um, actual heat sinks, or has a heat sink on the graphics chip, but it doesn't actually. It's not connected to the CPU, which is weird. They have this sort of bit of um, aluminium, which is very odd. I remember this laptop, this type of laptop, exactly the same model. I tried Doom 3 on it, it ran really well. I, I remember my Dell main desktop at the time, the Pentium 4, could barely run it. So this machine, although it's obsolete and it's only it's, it's laptop, it could run Doom 3. Full screen. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Back in 2012. Right, that's on. I'm going to see if it posts now. It's in absolute pieces. This is I've got to make sure the fan is ready because it won't work with the fan off. It's close enough. Right, or oh, I need a keyboard. Under here, this. 820 underneath this machine here and it's battery's dead as well. I've got to get that sorted out. Right. It's going to be short. I don't know it's done. Right. So it's under there. I'm going to see it post. There it is, it's working. It's working. Wait a minute, it's working. Where's the, where's the? It's working, that means it works, it must work. You can't see this, ah, this stupid bloody thing. What's it pointing at? So I'm not pointing in my place. It's posting, but it's, and that's got a dual core in it. So it must work then. FT for setup. It's not taking me to setup. I don't know why. Ugh. It does work then. 
F2, F2, F2. Oh, this bloody keyboard. What? How does that go in there then? Well, I would say that's, uh, that's working well then if it's in there. Delete. Can we go R, M? Yes, there we are. What's the processor? Tell me what's the. Doesn't say what the processor is, but. Hard disk. There's no hard disk on the. Where the. Doesn't say what the bloody thing is. That's weird. But it is working, so I would say if that's working fine, then I'm going to put it in my main. Uh, my other, my main, my old laptop, which is down here. So, what I'll do is I will return in a minute. I'll open this thing up and I'll swap the thing over. I'll video swapping it over. That's a single. This is like an educational type one. It's very standard. It uses DDR2 memory. It's got about a gig or so on it. The this thing here, you've got two connectors. I've done it once before where you pull it out here, this main connector, and there's another little tiny one, and it's basically like a separate, I think it's a power thing. It's very easy to basically snap that off because they're separate. Most of the makes have that thing kind of built in, that one there. It's very easy to pull it off and snap it. I'm going to change that out for the wireless thing later. I'm going to change out the trackpad because that one doesn't work actually. The one on here is broken as well, so these are such pains to get up to get to pieces. I've got all the screws out, I hope I have. Yeah, you have to be a bit careful with these because they're assembled upside down and there's a lot of screws inside of them, so there's the fan there, the CPU. I can't get that off without removing all the heat sink as well, which is underneath all of that there. So I've got most of the screws out. I can try and get it to come apart. It's a bloody pain. I've got all the screws out, I hope I have. It kind of clips together and then it kind of comes apart in a really strange way. So. Really tedious to take the pieces because of the the Dell ones a lot easier, but these ones are really annoying. So if I can get the top of this thing off here. Um, it just takes one screw and then you end up ripping it or breaking it. There it is. It's like it's Pieces that. Right. That stuff comes out like there's about ten connectors. There's an SPGA and the main power. There it is. Okay. I'll leave the rest in its speaker wires right. So same drill as last time. What a funny angle. Got to zoom in a bit. So the other machine is identical to this one and it posted and it works. So I would assume, given that it actually does work, 
on that machine that it would work on this one too. So. These bloody screws, I wish they were captured, but they're not. They're kind of just sitting in there. I did want to use the Dell, but I haven't. It's in worse condition than this one. And if it's about the same difference, I don't see what the difference is other than the casings of the thing. The way it's what it's actually sitting inside of. Oh, it's got loads of thermal paste on it. Don't fall off. Oh. Not now. Right, so take the processor out. That is the single core. I've got to get the other one out of the Dell, not, not the Dell, the other. This is the dual core. It's upside down. It's got loads of thermal paste on it, but. So that's what's going in there. In. Turn it, and it clinks back, and it should be okay. It's got plenty of thermal paste on it, doesn't really matter. Right, so I'll put that back in there. It only has the, that's, that's, I can't see it, but like that. It's the graphics chip and it's just a piece of aluminium, which is weird. Oops. So if it makes, it should make a difference, it should have two brains in it. I don't know why, maybe it's because they were from like educational, these are mostly from schools or whatever these are. They probably deliberately put a single core in it because it was cheaper to do that. I would have thought so, they were cheaper to, and they don't need dual cores, you know, whatever, it's not gaming, so it doesn't really. Right, so I can put that back together, but I want to do these Wi-Fi wires. Even though it's a Centrino duo rather than an app, like a, the, it's not the 7000 series of the Later ones, this is like a two centri two two yoners effectively. I think that's what this is. I don't know if it's going to detect it. it. Should do. This is a later machine. This is actually later, and if the steppings are the same, then I don't see why it wouldn't work. Right. So that is the new processor installed. Everything else can go back. I'll have to pop this back together. It's a bit dusty in there. I've got to put the power in and then the... <clears throat> I'll do that in a bit and I'll return when I've got it back together. <laughs> 